Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to factor uh, when I have two terms like this. So, when factoring, um, you know, the main important thing we always want to look at is a lot of times seeing what we can factor out uh, common terms, our GCF. And, you know, for us to factor our GCF, the terms have to share the same value. And what I notice here is here I have an m squared, but here in this model I don't have an m, so I can't factor on an m. I also look at these two numbers, 9 and 16 don't share any common factors. So I can't factor out any number that they share. However, the one thing I'll tell you is please, every time you see two terms, there's only a couple ways that we're going to look at this. When I look at two terms, all right, immediately I look for factoring out of GCF. The next thing I always want to look for is what we call the difference of two squares. And the difference of two squares, what that states is if I have a squared minus b squared, then I can factor that to a minus b times a plus b. All right? It's a very, very, very important rule for us to understand. So I want to see now, is my first term, can I rewrite that as a square number, and is that a square number? And you could say, yes, 9 is a square number as 3 times 3, and m is a square number as m times m. Then I look at the next one, and can I write 16 as 16 a square number? And you could say, yes. You could write 4 times 4 gives you 16. So therefore, I can say now that A could be 3M and B could equal 4. So now, if I just simply plug that into this formula, what I have is 3M minus 4 times 3M plus 4. So it's really important to look for your first two terms to be square terms and your last term to be square term, then to make sure you have the difference. Because if it's a difference, you, have, you can work like this. If it's not difference, it doesn't work like this. Um, and then you can simply just write it as a difference of two squares. Now, like I said, we can always check our work by doing the FOIL technique. 3m times 3m, so equals 3m squared. 3m times 4 equals a positive 12m. Negative 4 times 3m is a negative 12m. And negative 4 times 4 is a, or I'm sorry, is a negative 16. Well, these two terms are going to cancel out, and you're just left with 3, I'm sorry, 3m times 3m is 9m squared, right? There you go. Equals a 9m squared minus 16, which is your final answer. So, just remember when using, when looking for, when you have two terms, look for the difference of two squares, and you can see it's 3m minus 4 times 3m plus 4. Thanks.